Oh, my name's Robert Dean Steele, and today I'm talking about peace. Listen to what this quote says. Peace is not the absence of problems. Peace is the presence of God. Listen to what Isaiah says in Isaiah 26, verse number three. He will keep you in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in you, Lord. Well, when we have those storms of life, and they do come, we can be filled with panic. We can be filled with peace. Peace is not an absence of problems. You know, how can we experience God's peace in life storms? Well, first of all, we need to remember that God is there with us. He said, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be there. And when you pass the rivers, it will not sweep over you. When you walk through the flame, you will not be burned, and the flames will not set you ablaze. That's what Isaiah said in Isaiah 43, verses 1 and 2. The second thing that we can do is experience God's peace, to relax in his care. I love what 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast all your cares on him, for he cares for you. Finally, recognize that God's peace is something that we must rely on. And what is that? He's in control. <laughs> when things get out of control, we don't have to be anxious. Also as well, remember, all things work together for good. Doesn't mean all things that you're facing is good. You know, we have two wonderful stories in the Bible. The first one is, of course, the story of the Red Sea. God did not deliver the nation of Israel out of the Red Sea. He led them through. And when Jesus was in the boat with the disciples, when the storm came down on the Sea of Galilee, Jesus was sleeping in the back of the boat. And when his disciples uh, woke him up and said, don't you care that we're just about perishing? Jesus kind of walked to the front of the boat and said, peace be still. And the winds and the waves immediately died down. Why was that? Because Jesus was with them. And God is with us today. So my question is for you, what is robbing you of your peace? Make this familiar course your prayer. Peace, peace, wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. Sweep over my spirit forever. I pray in those fathomless billows of love. Wonderful peace. That's what we need today. And remember, Jesus can give you peace, not as the world gives. And remember, peace is the absence of personal conflict and warfare on the inside. The Lord can give you peace when you trust in him. My name is Robert Dean Steele. Thanks for spending time with me.